time for living a lap to get their first experience of the trip. I've got a question for you guys. Have you seen any shipwrecks around today? No. Ah, and I know exactly why, because the Cape Otway Light Station's actually doing its job, and that's why there's no shipwrecks. I want you guys to get in there, have a lot of fun, check it out, and I'm gonna catch up with the manager and find out what makes it tick. Go on, off you go. Awesome. go. We've got nothing else to do, off you go. So our crew added some sound equipment, <laughs> then I sent Living a Lap up to the lighthouse for a closer look. station where are you Co? and as you can see it's extremely windy but it is so beautiful up here what do we reckon it's super windy we're looking forward to getting up top and seeing these amazing views out here because we've got the headland right around and we're right on the cliff face so you should really come and check it out you can see the whales they spotted some yesterday we're hoping to catch some uh, when we go to the top and the lighthouse here it's gone on the front 1848 so we're interested in the history of it as well so let's go check it out go on in in we go Ace. come on in boys we're heading up the stairs to the lighthouse <laughs> this is so cold. Go on, shoot through. <laughs> Watch out for the ghosts, because apparently there's hard ghosts in here. Are you not serious? So we've heard. <laughs> Whilst living a lap explored the lighthouse, I caught up with the light station manager to learn a bit of the history and what's on offer. Where did this kick off? Obviously there was some shipwrecks here and someone said, we better try and rectify that. Uh, yes, so the lighthouse itself was built in 1848. It was a significant part of uh, Australia's maritime history. Oh, we're nearly at the top. It's a bit steep, this little section here. Oh gosh, this is what I'm doing. Nearly at the top. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is huge. Many immigrants coming across from Europe and the UK, this would have been their first uh, site of land of their new home uh, when they reached Australia. Uh, so then it became also known as the Beacon of Hope. And is it still referred to as the Beacon of Hope today? It is, yes. Lighthouse guide Dale Hyatt was a wealth of knowledge and his passion for Cape Otway history was contagious. They had to export these five kilometres through a bush track with no roads on a bulls and a cart, so a bullock train. That's eight bulls, eight big bulls pulling a wooden cart. And did you boys know that you can smell land before you see it? So if you're starting at night and you can smell land but you can't see it, you're a bit scared, aren't you? So what are you looking for? The, light, the lighthouse. So visitors generally can spend anywhere from one to three hours on site. There's plenty to see and do. Uh, you can climb to the top of the lighthouse, experience the views of the Southern Ocean from 90 metres up. After getting in some home study time for Acer and Cove, living a lap went out on the ledge and experienced what Shannon described as breathtaking views. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It was windy. Yeah, it was, it was windy. I remember seeing a picture of my head just like straight up. <laughs> the view from the from the lighthouse, you saw the all the ships go past and the all the big boats. Uh, we've got a World War II uh, radar bunker up on the hill. Um, it's part of a secret history of the light station. Ooh, uh, not secret anymore. We uh, just put it on telly. Visitors can discover more on site. <laughs> Uh, they can uh, visit the old workshop. We've got history talks that run throughout the day with our guides on site. Uh, so boys, what do we want to say to Dale? Thank you. <laughs> thank you for all your knowledge. This has been a really, really good experience My, my for pleasure. Us. Thank you guys for coming down. The light keepers needed somewhere to live, so they uh, built the light keepers cottages and the assistant light keepers cottages, which are now our cafe and our accommodation, which you can stay overnight. The cafe itself is well known for their scones and jam, not to mention the view that goes with it. Wait, like this? Yep, pop it straight in. Mm -hmm. I mean, cravings and stuff too, haven't I? I have. What's, What's up, down under? Triple, Triple Lifetime!